but GoFest was an absolute blast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the goodies. First of all, I want to show you guys and age. Let's do go age five. Okay, so this is day one of Pokemon Go Fest. We started off by me waking up late and this little bad boy was sitting at my hotel. Oh my goodness, a freaking shiny Lunatone. And you know, I wake up and what do I see? A Guzzlord raid. My very first raid of my event at my hotel. Shiny Guzzlord. But wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah, and it has a background. I know, I freaking know. Not too shabby. This is about as good as it got, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. So, and then this was also at my hotel. I needed one more shiny Amara to complete my family and this completed my family. And then I was blessed with my first shiny Furfru. Absolutely blessed. Like, look at this. I mean, of course the Ivies aren't great, but like we need so many of these suckers for all the different forms. I was like, I never thought I'd even get one. Honey. I ended up with seven shiny fur fruits, seven in total, not even kidding. I ended up trading one to Jesse. So now I have six because poor Jesse didn't find a single one. So I have almost enough to get like, I have enough to get almost all the trims, which I am so, 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 so shocked about. Um, Archin, I didn't need any Archins, but I was super happy to have that. Um, I, so, okay, I was really excited to get this pantsier, and I was like, oh my god, I needed this for my family, like, yes, and then I look, and I'm like, I think I got these at Seattle Go Fest, so I didn't necessarily need it, but I'm super, super happy I got them, I think it's still good, because it's not my regional, uh, I normally get pan poor, which is the blue monkey, um, I got a new unknown shiny, which was an eye, y'all, I did not realize I did not realize they were giving us this trim. This is the exclusive fur fru trim from France. During GoFest, if you had a ticket, you had the opportunity to change it to the French trim. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. So I did that with my with this with this shiny fur fru. I was super stoked to get Frillish. Um, I think um, it's safe to say I am the Frillish Queen. I got so many shiny frillish for a small army. I think it's because Yanova loves me. I'm convinced. Absolutely convinced. Frillish Queen Rachie coming in here. I got so many of these suckers. So this is day one, 17 Pokemon. Dude, what the heckalini? What the heckalini? Look at this. Look at this. Shook. Shooketh. Shook. Look at this sucker. A, cr a scarf. Adorable. Adorable, 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 adorable. I got into an Uber for something and I clicked it and bam, it was shiny. And then a couple minutes later, I got an Espeon. And I know you don't see the Espeon here and that's because I traded it. Because I actually have a second one, which you'll see shortly. This is my first ever Pumpkaboo. Um, it was awesome. <laughs> um, and then this was what I needed to complete my family. So this is my Saturday experience. I did really well. Um, I know it says 20. I, I did actually trade a couple away. Um, like I traded one of my EV crowns away because like, look, like you can't evolve them. Um, uh, I got so many sun crowns. I was super heckin' excited. But then... This one. What's so special about this one, you ask? It was freaking hatched. It was hatched. How incredible is that? I literally was at the park and I was like, <gasps> um, Heatmore, 
so many heat mores. I told you I was the queen of frillish. Of course, I had, I got so many ducklets. Um, I finally got another drillbird to complete my family. Uh, I got another Finian, so I was able to complete my shiny Finian line, which I was so stoked about. I got my first one from, I believe it was Snow Tour, and so I'm like, yes, I can finish it. I got, of course, I got a couple shiny Lapras, which, you know, you guys know Lapras is my favorite Pokemon of all time. If there was a Lapras, I was clicking it. I finally got a Jinx, which this was not a part of the event. This, this was not part of the event at all. However, I had a lucky trade with K-Dubs. I gave K-Dubs a shiny Terrakion, and I was like, please, I need a shiny Jinx. Shiny Jinx will just not, doesn't exist for me. Uh, a lot of these I actually plussed, and I didn't even know they existed. Like, I didn't even know I got this Sableye. I didn't know I got Beldum. Look at that. Look at those IVs. Womp, 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 womp. Um, I didn't even know I got this Drillbur. It was kind of like, uh, let me see what my plus got me. And then I was like, oh, snap. But let me, t oh my goodness. These EVs, I, I did get three of these EVs, and, and I did trade one away. But yeah, that was my day... That was my day two. The unknown was super cool. I was so glad I got this one because my plus failed a shiny G earlier on. I did get a Buzzwell with a capture card, a shiny Buzzwell. But my, like I said, my friend uh, uh, Br Gross really wanted the capture card, so I traded shiny Buzzwells. And it's, it wasn't a, like a, it wasn't a lucky trade or anything, but I really wanted him to get the catch card, and he was entertaining us all weekend, hanging out with us. So I'm like, sure, let's just do this trade real quick. And so it's nothing too crazy, but. I have an awesome Buzzwell that I love so much. It's a great shiny. All righty, let's go ahead and tell you age three. We are kicking it up a notch. Let me tell you that. I don't even remember getting this one. I don't even remember this one. <laughs> I wanted this one so heckin' bad. Um, of course, and then I was so shocked. I actually... Although Pikachus were very few and far in between, like they weren't spawning that much. Eevees were spawning everywhere. These were not. I was so shocked to get this. Like I was like, <gasps> I literally could not believe my eyes. This was, Glagger was a plus uh, spawn. Spinarak was. Onyx, I was on the bus uh, and I got it. Lapras, I tried to click every single Lapras. So I, I got a couple of these. Um... And then, yeah, ducklets, ducklets, believe it or not, I know you see that I have a lot of ducklets, but it was actually kind of hard to, to like, I don't know. I just expected the shiny to show up easier and it took me a while, but I think I ended up with like five shiny ducklets. This is so random. I know. Rachel, why the heck, Alini, do you have a Abra? Well, I know this sounds weird, but... Um, I was sitting at Bryant Park and this was after GoFest. I was sitting at Bryant Park and uh, I completed like some random non-event task and it was a shiny Abra in the research task. So since it was a research task, the IVs of course aren't great, but like it's not bad. Yeah, I got more Finian. So I feel like I have like a lot of trades. <gasps> I was so happy. Oh my goodness. I was so happy about this Pokemon and here's why. The, I think the second day of GoFest, I was getting ready. I, I was running a little late and GoFest had already started, but I had started, I needed to start in the city, but I was already running late. And I was, I literally had my plus plus running as I was like, I was getting dressed. I was brushing my teeth, brushing my hair, you know, doing all the, doing all my morning routines to, to go out to the city. And I checked my, like, I, I checked like my recent activity or whatever. And my plus plus ran away from a shiny Pancham. I was so hurt. So hurt. And I was like, I need to reclaim this guy. I want shiny Pancham so bad. So when I was out there, I was making it more of a point to try to click as many Panchams as possible because I wanted to reclaim the lost shiny. And I finally got one. So I still need one more shiny Pancham to complete my family, but I was glad I was able to reclaim one. It kind of hurts thinking like if I didn't do that, I would have both Pancham and Pangoro now. Like I would have the family completed at this point, but it is what it is. I got this one, y'all. Oh my goodness. I, I, one thing I did forget to mention is not only, you know, did I get lots of new shiny dex entries, but this GoFest, Help me complete my platinum medal. 
Help me complete my platinum medal for unknowns. So I have officially caught every single unknown possible. Why? Literally, why was the last one I needed? To complete my platinum medal. Like you guys know. I've gone to so many safari zones. And go fests. And uh, city safaris at this point. I, 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 I was almost done. And so this was the last one I needed. Here we go. Um, when I told you guys I had. I did catch another shiny espion. Um, I did trade it to a friend. Because I got a second one. And what's special about this second one. Is it's a level one. Um, I got uh, the other phantom I needed for my collection. Um, I even had a shiny phantom run from my plus plus. And I was like, no, like I need one more to complete my family. And bam, bam, turkey ham. Here it is right here. <laughs> so heckin' happy. So that was uh, day three. I think my real winners were like the unknown why. I was super excited to get a mantine. I just think that shiny blue is really pretty. Phantom is a top tier shiny, genuinely. Pikachus were not even spawning that much. So the fact that I actually got a shiny Pikachu, this was literally in the park. This was during GoFest at Randall's Island Park. I lost my marbles. And because all my Eevees were uh, sun crowns, I was like, I want something with a moon crown. So I, I ended up getting it and I was just absolutely stoked. Um, Alolan Rattata, I mean, I got it with my plus plus. I'm never going to complain about getting a shiny. Um, but some of these, yeah, just were with my plus plus. I did get a shiny Necrozma. Um, I did have lots of lucky trades uh, planned out throughout the whole week. I think I did about 10 or 11 lucky trades. If I do remember correctly, I could be off by one or two, but... Um, we mirror traded a uh, shiny Necrozmas. It didn't have a background or anything. So I was like, sure, Squid to Beast, you and I, we're going to do a little tradey waities. Um, and it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm hoping maybe this weekend I can get at least one more shiny Necrozma. I got another Phantom. Oh, I did get a moon crown. I forgot. <laughs> this whole time I thought I didn't get an Eevee with a moon crown. Oh my God. <laughs> I did get this one. E <laughs> I was so heckin' happy. I remember now. I remember now. Um, and more Phantoms. I got two Shiny Paris. So this one was during the event, and I needed one more to complete my line. And this one was actually minutes after the event. And I named it Jesse because I'm going to be giving it to Jesse because he needs one more to complete his family. Um, this was a second Oricorio I got. I got an additional Amara from my plus plus. So I kid you not, it was Amara, Mantine, and Golet were all on my plus plus at Bryant Park within a span of five minutes of each other. It was cracked. And then after that, literally after the shiny, I think it was after the shiny Golet, my luck ran out and that's when my plus plus ran away from the pink shiny Oricorio. Corfish Paris, Okay, uh, Necrozma, Oricorio, Amaras, Mantines, Golettes, Paris, Eevees with the cap. I, I, I got so many. It's, it's just honestly absolutely wonderful. I was so stoked to get this in a trade. OMG, I, I'm very, very grateful. I knocked out so much of my shiny decks this GoFest. I have to be honest. In terms of shinies, this was probably one of my best GoFests ever. Let me go ahead and show you guys my lucky trades so you guys can like kind of see them. So it started off with Star You. I met JD for the first time in person. So we went ahead and did our lucky trade. That was a four year lucky trade in the making. This was Steve. I traded Steve Halucha. I got Halucha's when I went to Mexico City Safari and I was like, you know what? Give me a shiny Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur so freaking much. So this is what it turned out to. Um, I'm trying to remember what I traded Spiro. I genuinely don't remember what I traded Spiro, but I don't have a rock rough. So I was so happy to, uh, to get this finally. Literally, I showed Jesse and he was so jealous. This one was, I think I traded with Kelvin. I think we swapped shiny Goomies, if I remember correctly. Because I'm like, you know what? I want a good Goomy. So I did this one with Kelvin. This Rayquaza, I think... I'm trying to remember. I think I did this trade with Catwoman. 
I wish I could remember who gave me this Lapras. I have a 98 shiny Rayquaza. Whoa, I forgot this. This one I think was Kid Okay, this was Kid Cash. I gave I think we swapped shiny Groudons, I think. This one was from K Dubs. I gave him a shiny Terrakian and he gave me a Jinx. I know you're like, Rachel, what kind of trade is that? I listen, I'm just trying to complete my shiny Kanto decks. Jinx has been eluding me forever. This Gumi was Aquadust. Yes, Gu uh Aquadust uh I gave Aquadust one of the Crown Eevee shinies and Aquadust gave me a Gumi, which, cause I don't know, I really like Gumi. I, I would like a Hundo shiny ideally. So I was like, I wanna, I wanna like, please give it to me. This was from Heather. I gave Heather a shiny Phantom and Heather gave me a shiny Mantike. This is one, I just, I, I could never get this shiny form. The babies just don't shine for me as much as I would like them to, probably cause I don't hatch as much. But dude, can you just like look at this blue? The blue on the Mantike is just so pristine. It is such, so chef's kiss. Like this blue is gorgeous. All right, this one is Catwoman. This one is Catwoman. Necrozma, I mirror traded with Squid to Beast. We both had a shiny Necrozma, so we mirror traded them. It didn't end up being IVs I wanted, but I'm going to be honest. It was better than the shiny Necrozma I had because it was really, really bad. Alrighty, and this one. I finally met with one of the first people who were here when I first started streaming four years ago. Her name is Ann Emma. I'm sure you guys have seen her in the chat recently, but she was one of my first ever moderators. She's one of the first people to ever support me, and she lives all the way in the UK. And I have been lucky friends with her for about four years now. About four years we have been lucky friends for so long. And so the fact that we were finally able to do our lucky trade was amazing. In terms of hundos, um, I didn't get no shundo. I don't have that cool thing to flex. Very happy to get a hundo clef key in the park. Um, I was going to the merch tent and literally one of my friends who happened to be locals in New York City, her and her dad were playing at the park and they were like, Jesse, Rachel, there's literally a hundo on this lure right now. It was a weather boosted hundo clef key on one of the lures in Randall's Island Park. Um, you did get a Mars Shadow encounter uh, at GoFest New York City. And it was cool because after you got the Mars Shadow, you could even get research uh, at the stops there for extra Mars Shadow candy. So I got, I got a decent amount of, of a Mars Shadow uh, candy, I will say. And normally my uh, mythical IVs don't, turn out that good, but I think this one was decent. So this, uh, these are the IVs of my Marshadow. And why, uh, am I gonna get a shiny? Oh my God! <laughs> we got a shiny Cartana, finally! <laughs> And there wasn't even a prediction. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Literally the one time I don't predict. I was like, I've been doing too many. I want to kind of slow it down. Oh my god, this is my first ever shiny Cartana. This is my first ever shiny Cartana! <laughs> I am so happy! Okay, I am no- I'm not doing Cartana raids anymore. I'm capping myself. Capping myself, I am not doing anymore. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pineapple it, because it is a guaranteed catch. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, let's take a look. It does not have a catch card, but I am very, very happy for this.